Well, one of the many projects that's keeping me busy through this winter off season when I'm not working in the lawn outside is working on the lawn inside in the garage. So these are the pots with grass. If you remember from a few videos ago when I did a test to see if frozen grass seed would grow faster than just regular room temperature grass seed. And I still have the grass here. I've been wanting to maintain it through the winter just to kind of keep me busy among other things. And it's still here, it's still growing. Obviously it needs to be cut, needs to be mowed. And I'm gonna do that for you today. So I wanna talk about first what I've been doing with the grass here to get it to where it is and kind of what condition it's in and stuff like that. So here we go. So in this pot here, I have the uh, blend of bluegrass and ryegrass. This is what my current lawn outside is. Uh, it's the same makeup here. And then in this pot here, I have the blue heat from GCI Turf. And this, each of these have half of them that was grown from frozen seed. And I think overall it's doing really well. Obviously this guy here is doing the best. It is the thickest. The bluegrass here is a little wispy and it's kind of laying over a little bit. I'm not sure if it's trying to want to check out or what, but I think it needs a little bit more attention. Um, but let me tell you kind of how I've been taking care of these and growing them uh, through the cold months. Now the first thing I've done is any time we have a warmer day, uh, highs are like 50s, maybe low 60s. I'll take these outside and put them in the sun and let them get natural sunlight all day long and then bring them back here in the garage where it's a little bit more insulated and they can have a little bit more of a warmer environment overnight when temperatures are getting down below freezing. So that's been helping a lot. Another thing I've been doing is I have a grow light up here, a special light bulb to help plants grow indoors and I'll turn that on for a few hours overnight when I can't get these outside and just kind of let them get something, some kind of light source where it kind of tricks them to think that they're getting sunlight and they can still do their thing. Um, other than that, the window's right here and they're getting light coming through the window and if, they, if that helps, great. I don't know if it does, but um, the grass is still here and it's still growing. So I have trimmed it once and it's obviously in need of another trim, so it is growing. Another thing I've been doing, of course, is making sure that they get water every once in a while. They're not getting the same amount of water that I would give the lawn outside during, say, peak summer or even spring and fall. Um, I am spraying them by hand with a pump sprayer and just a little, uh, I think it's a one gallon pump sprayer, got it off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know. This would be something cool if you have like potted plants inside that you want to water. Um, something that you just kind of want to give a little mist or a rain effect to. Works great for this here. It's just like the sprinklers hitting them. It's kind of the same effect. But anyways, they do get water, but they don't get as much water or as often just because it's a pot and it holds the moisture in the soil, in the potting soil really well. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of stick my finger in there every once in a while just to see if the soil is still wet or damp. And if it feels dry at all, I'll add a little bit of water in there and it's good to go. So, but other than that, that's all I've been doing is just the light, taking it outside whenever I can, giving it water here and there. It hasn't been given any fertilizer or any kind of nutrients at all. All that it's absorbed as far as nutrients go, other than sunlight, is whatever was in that potting soil and it's just a miracle grow potting mix. So whatever's in there, that's what it's getting and it seems to be doing pretty well. Now obviously if you want grass to grow and to thicken up, you need to mow it. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the grass here and see how it does. And I'm gonna try two different techniques here. The first time around I did go ahead and use just regular scissors to cut it and worked as expected. Um, but today I want to have a little fun, try something a little bit different, and see how it goes.
bit missed behind there. There we go. Well, there it is. Toro hedge trimmers. Who knew? So that looks fresh, clean, satisfying, and we'll look forward to, ooh, look at that, trying to hide. See ya. Now we'll wait until we can mow it again. Like I said, this is gonna keep me a little occupied through the winter. Something to do, something um, that's actually hands-on grass related and not just a couple of other things that I'm working on, more to come there. Um, if you haven't already, I did put up my holiday gift guide. It is that time of year. If you need some ideas for yourself, for a friend, a neighbor, a lover, anyone that you know in your life that might be a lawn care enthusiast or a hobbyist like me, I've got some ideas for you. I'll put a link in the description below for my gift guide for this year. Check that out. That's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video today. This is a lot of fun for me. If you've ever grown grass like this at home, let me know what you think. Uh, I know the lawn tools, they have their desk lawn. Check that out. And this is kind of my garage lawn or my workbench lawn, whatever you wanna call it. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Let me know if you have any questions below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.